Thai food. <laughs> you won't eat Thai food? I want to eat Thai food. <laughs> Can I have plans for the weekend? No plan. Thai food? Thai food, Kandipa. Kandipa? My taste buds are like... <laughs> For spicy ah, food, ah? Yeah, no. <laughs> like, uh, less spicy, less spicy plus tingling and, uh, and the te- temptation on uh, when you eat Thai food, like, I really like it. Pulippa. Pulippa. Uh, pulippa. Karma. Karma. At the same time, like... Hello. How are you? Thank you. How are you? Where can I go on a Saturday where there are not many people? Found this one place without anyone staring at me. In my previous video, a friend of mine commented that he wanted to hear about pixels. Let's talk about the pixel. A pixel is that thing when you go really close to the TV screen, you can see those small rectangular bars uh, which are red, green and blue in color. That small thing is called a pixel. Maybe you use a magnifying glass or when a drop is falling down the screen, you can see that's a pixel. So by definition, it's the smallest controllable unit on a screen. Now, each pixel has three sub-pixels in it and each sub-pixel only shows out one color at different shades. All digital screens work on the same principle, the principle of having these really small dots. How they produce these dots is the technology of the screen. Different technologies have different ways of, of producing it, but the principle remains the same. There are these really small dots. When you change the shade of each of these colors, it gives you the right color you want. We can have 16 million colors from each pixel because each sub-pixel gives 256 different shades of its color. So 256 times 256 times 256 gives you around 16 million different colors. So a screen, that's a digital screen, this is only for LCD displays, okay? When it comes to the resolution of a screen, that is expressed in PPI or pixels per inch. Why inch? Because it's the Americans and then they use inches. Um, Pixels per inch is the number of pixels that you can find in one inch. So obviously when this number goes up, then the resolution increases. A screen with a better resolution will have its, uh, the image will have smoother edges instead of having staggered lines. If you've heard of the retina display, it's just Apple's trademark for having above 300 pixels per inch. So if your screen has more than 300 pixels per inch, it probably does, then that's a retina display too. All of this back talk to talk about the megapixel. So a megapixel actually is a million pixel. So when you say that an image is 10 megapixel large, it means that it has 10 million pixels in it. And they got this number by multiplying all the pixels along the horizontal and all the pixels along the vertical. That's pretty straightforward for images. But what do you mean by saying that my camera has a 10 megapixel sensor? It means that the sensor in my camera has image sensing elements which are capable of recording up to 10 million pixels every time I take an image. So 10 megapixels in our everyday talk sounds like not that big a number because we have cameras with 15, 20 megapixels and so on. So it may not sound like a big thing but a full HD display that's 1920 by 1080 an HD display corresponds to only 2 megapixels or 2 million pixels. So whether you take a 20 megapixel or 30 megapixel uh, image you can't really perceive that on a full HD display. We now have 2K and 4K screens which can perceive 2K and 4K images but most screens are still 1080p, you know, they are still full HD. All that I'm trying to say that the megapixel accounts for the size and not for the quantity of an image. So there were these Chinese phones back in the day that came up with 20 megapixel sensors and so on and if you export that image on your computer, you'll you'll see that it actually is 20 megapixels. But uh, back then, I think it was the iPhone 4, which was having an 8 megapixel sensor, 4S, I guess, had an 8 megapixel sensor. And this sensor outperformed the 20 megapixel sensor. The reason is because it's more than that number which accounts for a good image. It only talks about the size, which means if you blow up the image, what it looked like when it was small, it will look the same thing when it is big. It won't distort. That's what the megapixel mean means. My objective of making these videos is so that you guys are more aware of what you're buying. You hear these words like megapixels, resolution, PPI, DPI. It's just so that you guys know exactly what you're buying, exactly what you're paying for, that you don't get fooled by these marketing gimmicks, you know. So today I spoke about three things, the pixel, megapixel, and the resolution, pixels per inch. Tell me if you guys already knew about this or if there's something that you didn't understand so we can discuss it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care and keep learning.
Salut, ça va Ouais, ça va Ouais, oh. bah, tout va vers Lille, c'est ça Je vais à Lille. Ouais, merci beaucoup. Ok, pas de soucis. Des arbres en face, c'est magnifique, ça donne envie de prendre des photos. Ouais. Tu as pris le manoir aussi en photo